job, Kaylin. What's, What's up? up? Good, how are you guys? Oh, wonderful, how are you? I'm feeling good. good today. Feeling good. Feeling all right. It's a, it's a good day. It's the last We're day of the tour. Last day of the tour. We're, We're excited. excited. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? What are you doing today? I'm Kenny, and uh, I'm the singer of the after party. I'm Alan, and I'm the drummer. Where did the name the after party come from? I'll tell you, we uh, we were a band before this one. We were it was us four, and we were a band called Farewell to False Love. And anytime we'd ever tell somebody, they're like Farewell to what what? And like, so like you know what? we did a name that's like short, easy to remember, yeah, and like fun, you know. So it came up. But basically, it's made like a huge list of a bunch of random names. And yeah, just chose the after party. Yeah, just we wanted a fun, easy, quick name that kind of represented like the music, which was fun at the time. You know, like we're just party still, music, yeah, whatever. party music. That's what. So that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. When did you guys each start playing music? Uh, I started playing, my first instrument I started playing was piano. I started about like, when I was like six years old I think, so I've been playing music for the last I mean, 14 years. I guess like my grandmother, she always had piano, so I was like always messing around with it ever since I was really young. I always got like, I got one of those like toy pianos with like six keys on it. <laughs> so I guess I was always playing those things, that counts. But uh, I mean, I've always been singing, like all the time, so so I've been singing. I can't really remember when. <laughs> when the after you were born, you started singing. Right when I came out, I was like, hey, everybody, <laughs> Kenny is alive. <laughs> show? Do you have any pre-show rituals that you go through? I like to stretch. I'll show you right now. What I do, right before I get on stage, every single day, and I always do the same stretch. Take my hands like this, one side or the other, and then I go, I reach, other side like that, and I do the, I do the hammies right here, the groin, and then I do the back. Ugh. That's what I do, right before I get on stage. Also, we do vocal warm-ups, too. But that's my ritual, every day. Do you have any unique rituals? I, uh, I, un I untie my shoes and I retie them to make sure they're secure. That's about it. <laughs> Not really, I don't have any rituals, no. <laughs> What are your favorite part? What's your favorite part about performing live? Man, the reactions of the crowd, fans. Crowd reactions yeah. and interactions. Crowd response. Yeah, yeah definitely. If it's, but if it's a bad response, I mean, if there's no response at all, then it kind of, it's a bum deal. But if it's a great response and they're going crazy and they're making lots of noise, yeah, that's, that's always that's, that's the best. Blast. Yeah, that's that's what makes it so much fun for everybody. <laughs> Hope you have a good crowd tonight. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We definitely will. We definitely will. This is the last day of tour. There better be some crazy people. They're going crazy. We're going to be. Let me toss this right out of the crowd. Okay, Alan doesn't care who screams. I want the loudest scream right now. Okay, so after this tour with All Star Weekend, what made you guys decide that you wanted to do a house party tour to your next tour? Actually, dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. We just announced yesterday, or two days ago. When did we announce it? Two days ago. Two days ago. We'll be going on tour with Secondhand Serenade and Voice Avenue starting March 1st. Oh, that's exciting. March 1st to March Three 20th. days after today. We'll be on the road again. We'll be on the road starting in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Going all the way up around. And we're not heading the south at all. It's just going to go up, up the east coast. Through the Midwest. Through the Midwest, out to California, and then last day is in Anaheim, March 20th. Yep. That's exciting. It is very exciting. We're really pumped for that show, that tour. Alright, if you guys had the chance to make your ideal tour, who would be on it? One Direction. The Jonas Brothers. And, and the Jonas Brothers. And Michael Jackson. It'd be Michael Jackson, One Direction, the Jonas Brothers. And us. And Elvis. And us. That's it. Okay, so one of our fans wanted to know, um, what were you guys thinking when you crashed Little Miss? Like, what was going through your head? I was thinking, holy crap, we're gonna die. First of all, Alan was asleep, so he wasn't really thinking. I woke up just screaming, I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? I had no idea, like, I seriously thought we were like, we were dead, I don't know. I was freaking out. How exactly did it happen? Okay, well, Andy and I were driving, it was late, late night. Start before that, it was Brandon driving. Andy was doing some money stuff. But Brandon got flustered because he missed two turns. He was flustered. He was flustered, he was like, ah! 
I will give five dollars to whoever wants to drive. So, Andy said, well, I'll take that. I had my headphones on listening to Mariah Carey at the time, so I couldn't really hear that. Otherwise, I would have taken the offer because I was up anyway. So, Andy had been up all night the night before. Yeah. yeah. He had two hours of sleep the night before. So, we're driving along. It was an hour and a half left till we had to arrive. We were six miles away from our destination when Andy decided during the middle of It's Gonna Be Me in sync, we were jamming out to it in the van. And I went to go look at my computer to change the song. Next thing I know, I look up and we're both screaming because we're nailing all these like wooden posts and this metal wire is the scariest thing in my life. Because Andy fell asleep and like it was a turn. But we were only going 10 miles an hour. That's good. So no luckily we were, we were going slow, so no one got hurt. The van is repairable. It's getting fixed right now. So we'll be back on the road again soon. That's good. Yeah. For, the lucky. for all the viewers out there, this light is really bright. <laughs> just so you know. like it, though. Okay, if you could trade spots with anyone on the All The Way Tour, who would you switch places with? Like, like, you know, like, actually, like, my personality and my thoughts and everything in somebody else's brain, and like, I get to run it's through their body. body, or just like switch my body with it. Either or, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'd switch with Dan, Dan Garrity. He's, he's awesome. And he's a ginger, I just want to know what it's like to be a ginger for a day. I would. No soul. Have no soul, what's it like? I don't know. I would switch with. I would switch with Brayden. Okay. Because he's the nicest guy in the world. Brayden knows magic. And I've always wanted to know what it was like to have magic. What's he like? He's a magician. Is he? He has real magic. It's real. Okay. What is the strangest, the strangest talent that you guys have? Uh, to be able to shuffle on stage. That's not a strange talent. It's pretty strange if you ask me. My strange talent would have to be... I can eat seven Chipotle burritos. I can't even finish one. I can eat one. That's it. I can eat seven Chipotle burritos, one a day. Oh, you can eat one. Oh. Okay. Okay. In a week. I can eat seven Chipotle burritos in a week. In a week, okay. I made it sound like it was one sitting. <laughs> Did I say that? No, but that's what it sounded like. Actually, my strange talent is I can, I'm a really good chess player. Oh, that's Try cool. it. Try me. I will blow your mind. My chess strategic moves. Okay, what is your biggest fear? Uh, I have no idea. Alan's probably spiders, but I, I would have to. Spiders are pretty scary. I was going to say spiders. Also, failing is a big fear of mine. Being homeless. Oh my god. Well. I know it's gonna be homeless. No, being alone. That's that's my biggest fear. Being alone. Having nobody know who I am. Having no identity. Oh man, that'd be crazy. If like you walked out and like literally like nobody knew anything about you. Not even the government. Not even the government. Not, not you didn't have a family or anything. You were literally like a nobody. A nobody to everybody. Just invisible. And completely invisible. And you didn't even know who you were. Okay, yeah, that's scary. That is but scary. But that one movie with, uh, what's his name? Is it? <laughs> that one movie? You know what I'm talking what's about. <laughs> the Majestic. Never seen it. Watch it. It's good. You might cry. I can't remember what's that or not. <laughs> Just, it'll put you on an emotional roller coaster. Uh, okay, so we have like some of these like fan favorites where they want to know like what your favorite things are. Okay. So the first one is, what is your favorite song to perform live? California, I think. Uh, yeah, song, yeah. That's that a good one. one. Or Still Got Love, our new song. Yeah. I play that a lot. I play it, Oops, I Did It Again. Just because I get to shake my, my groove thing. <laughs> have a good time. I have a good time with that song. Okay, right, what are your favorite gifts to get from fans? I, I personally like Emergency. And I like, oh, my favorite? Cases of Water. Water, and gift cards. Chipotle gift cards. And Starbucks gift cards. And, 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 handmade, like, and handmade stuff too. Like when they make us bracelets and stuff. And like, yes. You know, when they spend a lot of time with them, it shows they really, really care about it. So it's cool. Have a seat. I'm a, ge I'm a gentleman. Now that it's over. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, what is your favorite safety 
playing on this tour? Chicago. Chicago. Well, that's not a state, but Illinois. Illinois. Okay, besides that, because we're here. I'm California. California, definitely. California because of the weather and the people it's and the food weather. and the beach. Yes. Okay, and then favorite thing to do when you're not on tour? I'm gonna say I hang out with my family. Being home. Be at home. Relaxing. Relax, spend some time, be quality of family time. I like to go horseback riding, bareback. Bare chested on a bareback horse. That's how we roll in Kansas. Alright, okay, what are your plans for the rest of 2012? Well, touring! Touring as much as possible. Touring, a new, a new EP coming at you. Maybe an album. Probably this summer. Videos. Maybe a full length. Maybe a full length. That's basically More music videos. So expect to see us more and more. See us everywhere. Okay. Maybe even maybe even a movie. Cool see us on a movie. A, f a feature film. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a feature film. Okay. Who knows? And lastly, our media website is called Behind the Music Media. Uh -huh. So what do you think of when you hear the words behind the music from a band or artist perspective? I, I think of that one TV show. Um, what was it called? Behind, behind the scenes or something. Really like, Behind the Glory. It's about sports stars. It talks like the true story of their lives, like growing up and like the behind the music. Fame. That's what makes me think of. That's my favorite show back then. I agree with whatever Alan just said. <laughs> Do you have your own opinion or anything? It's a different, different genre. Instead of music, it's sports, but behind the music. What do you think of? You know, you know the the TV show that uh, what is it? Uh, it must be wait. Something about like I can't think of it right now. It's like it must be great to be like. Well, what do you think like it means to you? Like oh, behind like what's behind the music? Oh, they said what? I think it's a TV show or whatever. No, anything that. Anything. Oh, behind the music. Oh, it's just like getting to know the people who play the music. Yeah, it's like that we're just normal guys. Yeah, that we're not like. We're not like this big not famous. Than we're yeah, we're not better than everybody. We just like to play music. That's all it is. And we just hope that you like our music and you like what we do because it's cool. Because we like to do, what we, we we love doing what we do. So we like to have a lot of supporters okay, support so that's, us. That's it. Thank you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.